it's pretty much women across the board who wow. have been courageous enough, who's who were alert enough to go something's wrong and who were courageous. Yeah, I already said courageous, but like that there's a there's there's a really cool group of women and and so you guys know a couple of us that are on the AG, but there's a bunch that nobody knows about that are like just incredible yeah. and um so they got their crowns in heaven but so uh, there were some confrontations about it but he would always just kind of like eh, it's her thing you know i don't know it's her thing so people actually went to mike bickle and said hey this is kind of weird this is weird why are you guys hours and like the door the door is closed and locked to your office and you guys are in there yeah that's so weird. wait what mm -hmm. yeah so they confronted Mike on the door is closed and locked. And in I have to ask office. you something. Okay. So, so when this happened, the women confronted Mike Fickle about this. But so did Stuart know this was happening? Did Isaac know this was happening? Did they? They all knew this was happening. They knew he was in the room with somebody that wasn't his wife, with the door locked every day for hours. They knew this was happening, and everybody was just cool with it. Everybody did. Everybody did. That's what I'm telling you. It's, I can't even describe the power of the, like, I was too, I was, let's see, I knew about this nightmare with Mark. And now after, as his story unfolds, you know, hundreds of hours of talking and I'm starting to, now I understand that, that Mike and his wife, what, oh my gosh, have emailed delete, delete scores of emails between and texts between them he's never allowed to read them all sort for, for years all sorts of information like this and I, you guys this is how strong and i hope that people hear this so that you that you don't feel crazy how long it's taking you the listener to wake up and and be able to believe something negative so i'm drenched and i have information about wickedness and evil that is more than almost anybody has here in south kansas city and I was still saying about out of my mouth, at least there's no way we know that I would not, you know, be physically involved with, it. at least we know that. Right. That's how Wow. The moral kind of the vision of him as a moral guy. We thought he was like, wow, he's so dumb. He doesn't know what this looks like. And, and do you think that that is what I'm just so curious about these leaders. Like, do you think that's what Isaac and Stuart and Dave thought too? They were just like, Oh, he doesn't know that that's not a good look. And it's just my, totally. everybody thought totally. that. I don't think, yeah, I do want to say that about, about my brothers. I don't think, um, until things started to get brought to them. And now we know about a, the, a really horrific, horrific thing that was brought to them in, aside from what I'm talking about until this kind of stuff started coming to, to people. No, I don't think anybody imagined that Mike was um, involved in anything like this. So the betrayal of everybody is so profound, but some, I, you know, my, I'm going to tell you my personal opinion is that Mike is everyone's confessor. Is that the right way to say it? So even you want to confess to Mike, it was a joke around yeah. like, if you, just sin in your life there's nowhere you'd rather be than in mike bickle's office you're gonna feel like a million bucks afterwards right so people would confess their sin to him it is my opinion i just need to say that really clearly it is my opinion that those confessions are used against people um makes it sense yeah it, it makes complete sense and i i, I think go ahead go ahead ben. well i i just want to know if you've heard this before we've heard um people tell us too that people have before confessed some like deep sins to Mike and in return he has promoted them to be leaders. Yes. Is that something you've seen or heard before too? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yes, and and really questionable things. I mean, some of the, the women that are in questionable relationships with him right now or, you know, you know, were, I don't, I don't know what's going on right now, um, as in this minute. Um, but yeah, should have been, uh, you know, we're going through, we're divorcing husbands and 
and um, in very compromising situations, yet are drawn close, sometimes elevated on the stage, given responsibility. It, you know, just, I mean, that's just one, one example in a normal and, and multiple leaders protesting about in multiple, the case of, I can think of three of these women um, protesting and saying, hey, hey, like <laughs> this, this, this woman is going through a divorce. Things are, you know, uh, traumatic, well, whoever, whoever's right, wrong or whatever, like they shouldn't be in leadership. They shouldn't be put in leadership right now. They should, there should be some sort of season of a break, some restoration, da, 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 but no, nope. a time after time, Mike would make sure that that, that that person just was, you know, kind of like sailed through. Hmm. Yeah. 